DSR or daily sales report is a report which we managed to track our sales transaction APC and APT. What was your daily sales? How much transaction you did? How many customers visited your place? All the things will be tracked in this tracker. We will create this tracker in Google Sheets. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a daily sales report for multiple restaurants and I have created this in Google Sheets. Let's see how it works. On the left hand side, we have got the option of months and this will be managed through drop downs. After that, we have got years and years will also be managed through drop downs. Just one thing to mention over here. Suppose that you have filled up the data for January and if you think that data will vanish just by changing the month, it's not going to be. For 12 months, you'll have to create 12 sheets in advance. Over here, we have got the option of weekends. Whatever days you want to highlight, just select from the drop down and that specific day will be highlighted. I have kept two options, Saturday and Sunday. In case you want to highlight just one day, just do none over here and just one day will be highlighted. In case you don't want to highlight any day, do none in both the cells and none of the days will be highlighted. In case you want to highlight any other day apart from Saturday or Sunday, choice is totally yours. I have selected Monday and Mondays got highlighted. I'll do it Saturday and Sunday. As I told earlier, this format is for multiple restaurants. So here we have got store one and when we come to right hand side, we can see multiple restaurants over here. In the end, we have got total, total sales, transaction, APC or APT. APC means average per check and APT means average per check or average per transaction. In case you want to insert the column for targets, you can. Let's come to left hand side. Over here, we have got three channels, dine-in, takeaway and delivery. And you have to do the entry for sales and transaction. Over here, we have got our holidays and holidays will be highlighted automatically. Currently, we are in the month of January. New year means 1st of Jan and 14th of Jan is highlighted. If I change the month, I'll do it February. So all the highlights got removed. And when we come down, 18th and 19th February got highlighted. I'll do it January. I'll come on top. For 12 months, we have got 12 sheets. And in the end, we have got consolidated or summary. So this is consolidated yearly sales report. Whatever entry will be done in monthly sheets, it will automatically appear over here. To create this sheet, we will need a setting sheet. And in the setting sheet, we have got months, years, holidays list, name of weekdays and name of the stores. Let's start creating a new sheet now. We will go to Google Drive and over here we will click on new, Google Sheets and a new sheet will be created. We will delete this, we will select the whole sheet, we will right click the mouse, insert 26 columns right. We will select the whole sheet, we will right click the mouse once again, insert 52 columns right. In the same way, we will insert few more columns. Right now we have got only one sheet. So let's make this setting sheet. For setting sheet, I'll take the data from my example file. We'll copy this, Control C or Command C. We'll go to new file and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. We'll manage the column size. We'll go to view, show, and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll insert one more sheet. This will be January. Now we will click on B2 and we'll select C also. And we'll merge this. We'll go to data, data validation. We will come to right hand side and we'll click on add rule. Now we will click on criteria. We will click on drop down and we'll select drop down from a range. We'll click over here. We'll go to our setting sheet. We'll click over here once again and we'll select name of the months and we'll do OK. So our drop down list got created. In case you want to put some color, you can. I'll put some colors over here and we'll click on done. We'll come to January sheet. We'll delete this. So the drop down for months got created. I'll select January. We'll close this. We'll take this in center and we'll increase the font size. Now I'll click over here. We'll go to data, data validation, add rule. We'll click on the drop down, drop down from a range. We'll click over here. We'll go to setting sheet. We'll click over here once again and we'll select years from top to bottom and we'll do OK. I'll select colors for years also and we'll click on done. We'll close this. We'll come to January sheet and we'll select 2024 from here. We'll increase the font size. We'll put some color. Now I'll click just under January. This will be weekends. We'll select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in mid. We'll click over here and we'll take all the things in center. 
Over here also, I'll take all the things in center. We'll increase the row size. We'll put some color. We'll increase the column size. We'll change the font style. And we'll increase the font size. Now I'll click over here and we select next cell also. We'll go to data, data validation, add rule. We'll click over here and we'll select drop down from a range. We'll click over here now. We'll go to settings. We'll click over here once again and we'll select all the weekdays. We'll take this down and we we'll select all the days. On top of weekdays, I have got none. Now I'll do OK. In case you want to put the color, you can. I'm not going to select any color and we'll click on done. We'll come to January sheet. We'll close this. We'll take this closer. We'll put borders over here. I'll leave this row blank. We'll take this closer. Over here, I'll type dates, days, holidays. We'll take this in center. We'll click over here means in E7, this will be sales, transactions. We'll take all the things in center. Now I'll click on top and we'll select next cell also and we'll merge this. We'll go to data, data validation, add rule. I'll delete this and we'll type dine in. We'll put some color. We'll delete option two. This will be takeaway. Add another item. This will be delivery. We'll select some color over here and we'll click on done. We'll close this. We'll click on the drop down. This will be dine in. We'll take this in center. Now I'll select both the things. We'll copy it, control C or command C and we'll paste over here. We'll paste one more time. This will be dine in. This will be takeaway and this will be delivery. Now I'll select from here till delivery and we'll merge the cells. We'll go to data, data validation, add rule. We'll go to criteria. We'll click on the drop down and we'll select drop down from a range. We'll click over here. We'll go to setting sheet. We'll click over here once again and we'll select name of all the stores. We'll take this down and we'll select name of all the stores and we'll do OK. I'll put some color for stores also and we'll click on done. We'll come to January sheet. We'll close this. We'll click on the drop down and we'll select store one. We'll make the row size bigger. We'll increase the font size. We'll put some background color. We'll put some color over here also. And we'll put some color over here also. We'll change the font color. Now I'll click on holidays and we'll select till sales and we'll merge this. We'll merge dates and days also. We'll select all three and we'll change the color. We'll change the font color. We'll change the font style. We'll make the font size bigger. Now I'll click next to year and we'll select till delivery. We'll merge this together. We'll put some color over here. This will be daily sales report. We'll increase the font size. We'll change the font style. We'll make font size more bigger. Perfect. In weekends, I'll select Saturday and Sunday. We'll select both and we'll increase the font size. We'll change the font style. Perfect. Now I'll click over here and we'll insert the formula for first date. And the formula for first date will be plus or equal to date value bracket open double inverted comma one double inverted comma close and I'll select month means I'll click on month and I'll click on year. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll take this in center. We'll go to format number will come down and we'll click on custom date and time and we'll select a desired date format and we'll click on apply. So now we can see 1st of Jan over here. If I change the month, February, the first date got changed. I'll do it January. Now I'll insert the formula for second date and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open, we'll click on first date, we'll press function F4 three times is smaller than EO month means end of the month. We'll click on first date once again, we'll press function F4 comma zero bracket close comma we'll click on first date once again plus one comma double inverted comma twice for blank we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got our second date 
we'll take this in center. Now I'll click over here just under days and we'll insert the formula for days and the formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open. We'll click on first date comma double inverted comma ddd means d three times double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter. Autofill, suggested autofill, we can do yes or no, choice is up to us, I'll click on yes. Now I'll click over here next to days and we'll insert the formula for holidays and the formula will be plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open. In VLOOKUP, we have to provide lookup value in the very beginning. So dates will be our lookup value, comma. Now we have to provide table array. So we will go to our setting sheet and we'll select our holidays list from top. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged, comma, column index number or column number. So dates are in column number one and holidays name are in column number two. So we will put two over here, comma zero, bracket close and we'll hit enter. So we got name of first holiday over here. Before dragging this down, we will go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error. If error, bracket open, will come to end, comma, double inverted comma twice for blank, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Suggested autofill, we will click on yes. So our formula got inserted in second date also. Now we will select dates, days and holidays and we'll drag it down. We'll drag it more down, perfect. We will go on top, we'll adjust the column size. Now we will select this and we'll put borders. We'll put borders over here also. We'll select this and we'll put borders. We'll put some extra borders for total. We'll come on top, we'll go to view, show, and we'll remove the grid lines. Now we will select from first day till last day and till delivery sales. We'll go on top, we'll go to format, conditional formatting, we'll click on the drop down, we'll come down and we'll select custom formula is. Now we'll click over here and we'll insert our formula and the formula will be plus or equal to, we will click on first day. It haven't taken the cell value or cell reference. So we will come over here and we'll check the cell reference. Cell reference is C8. I'll type C8 over here. We'll put dollar just before C as we want to highlight the whole row. We'll come in the end is equal to, I'll click over here because from here we are going to manage our weekends. So this cell number is C3. I'll come over here and we'll type C3. I'll put dollar over here means just after C and before C means I'll lock the cell. We'll click on the drop down. We'll select red color. Font, font color will be white. So you will notice that Saturdays got highlighted. Now we will click on done. We'll close this. We'll select our data once again till bottom. We'll go on top, format, conditional formatting, add another rule. We'll click over here. We'll go down and we'll select custom formula is. We'll click over here and we'll insert our formula plus or equal to. We'll click on first day. The cell number is C8. I'll come over here and we'll put C8. We'll put dollar just before C is equal to. We'll click over here means on second weekend. The cell number is D. We'll come over here and we'll type D3. We'll log the cells by putting dollar just before and after D. We'll click on the drop down. We'll select red color and font color will be white and we'll click on done. So our Saturdays and Sundays got highlighted. I'll close this. If I select none from here, only Sunday is highlighted. And if I select none over here also, none of the days are highlighted. So as of now, I'll keep it as Saturday and Sunday. Now we will highlight our holidays. We'll select this once again. We'll go on top, format, conditional formatting, add another rule, we'll click on the drop down, we'll come down and we'll select custom formula is and the formula will be plus or equal to, we'll click on holidays name, the cell number is D8, I'll type D8 over here, D8, we'll put dollar just before D, this time we will put not equal to, for not equal to we will use smaller than greater than not equal to blank. For blank, we will use double inverted comma twice. We'll click over here and we'll select a desired color. Font color, font color as white. 
and we'll click on done now we will close this so our weekends as well as holidays got highlighted we will freeze the panes over here we'll click over here we'll go to view freeze one row the row got freeze from top i'll put my cursor over here and we'll take this down perfect we'll go to view once again freeze and this time i'll freeze column one column we'll drag this over here so our panes got freezed perfect we'll click over here and we'll remove the borders we'll select this and we'll put borders we'll delete this row we'll delete this row also now i'll select this and we'll merge together this will be total we'll take this in center we'll increase the row size we'll take this closer we'll put some color over here and we'll change the font color we'll change the font style we'll increase the font size now i'll click next to total and we'll insert the function or formula of sum plus or equal to sum bracket open we'll go on top we'll click on first cell and we'll select till down means we'll select till 31st we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll take this in center we'll change the color we'll change the font style we'll increase the size and we'll drag it till end perfect i'll come on top we'll click over here and we'll select till bottom we'll copy this control c or command c we'll go on top we'll come to right hand side we'll click over here and we'll paste it control v or command v so this will be for store 2 we'll click over here this will be for store 3 this will be for next store we'll come to right and we'll paste over here you can keep on adding as per your requirement for me this is enough i'll come to left this is store number 1 i'll come to right this will be store number 2 we'll come to right store number 3 4 and this will be store number 5 now i'll come on top and we'll take the column closer we'll click over here and we'll type total over here we will do total of all the sales we'll click just under total this will be sales transactions we'll come to right and this will be apc or apt we'll put some space over here enter now i'll click on total and we we'll select till apc or apt and we'll merge together we'll put some color over here we'll change the font color we'll change the font style we'll increase the font size now i'll click on sales and we'll select next cell also and we'll merge this we'll merge remaining two also we'll select this and we'll take this in center we'll change the font style we'll increase the font size we'll change the color now i'll select this and we'll select till end and we'll put borders over here we'll copy this control c or command c we'll click over here and we'll paste we'll drag this to right for apc total is not required so i'll delete this and we'll do average plus or equal to average bracket open we'll go on top and we'll select from first till 31st we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we got an error over here we'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error if error bracket open we'll come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so nothing is visible now we'll go to formula bar once again and just between two double inverted commas we will put zero enter so zero is visible now we'll come on top now we will connect all the stores from here it will be plus or equal to we'll come to the left side we'll click on dine in sales plus take away sales plus delivery sales plus dine in sales of store 2 plus we'll come to right take away sales of store 2 plus delivery sales of store 2 in the same way we will connect till last store and we'll hit enter so we can see zero over here 
we'll take this in center. If I'll put some sale over here, 100, it got featured in total sales. I'll delete this. Now I'll drag this to transactions also. APC or APT will be plus or equal to total sales divided by total transactions and we'll hit enter. We'll click on the error. We'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error. If error bracket open, we'll come to the end, comma, double inverted comma twice for blank, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll go to formula bar and we'll put zero just between two double inverted commas and we'll hit enter. We'll take this in center. Now I'll select all three and we'll drag it down. Perfect. We'll go on top. We'll come to the left. So the format for one month got created. Now we will click on month's name. We'll right click the mouse, duplicate and a duplicate copy got created. We'll double click on the name and we'll rename this as February. We'll go on top and we'll change the month's name. Now we'll click on the second sheet means February sheet. We'll right click the mouse, duplicate. This will be March. We'll go on top and we'll do March from here. In the same way, we will do the changes till December. So all the sheets till December got created. We will click on December. We'll right click the mouse, duplicate, and this will be consolidated or annual. Here month and year is not required. Even the dates are not required. So I'll select this. We'll right click the mouse, delete columns B to D. Perfect. Now I'll click over here just under sales plus or equal to. We'll go to January sheet and we'll click on dining sales of first store plus We'll go to February. We'll click on dining sales of first store plus March. We'll click over here on the sales in the same way. I'll connect till December. And we'll hit enter. So all the sheets got connected with first cell. We'll take this in center. Now we will drag this down and we'll drag this till end. We'll leave it selected. We'll go to format, conditional formatting, add another rule. In this sheet, these things are not required. So I'll delete this, add another rule. We'll click on the drop down. We'll come down is equal to and over here I'll type zero. The color will be white and font color will also be white. And we'll click on done. So whenever it will be zero, nothing will be visible. Perfect. Now I'll close this and our format is ready now. I'll provide link of this file in description box. In case you want to download, you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then. Bye-bye.